averaging over 12 rebounds a game in the playoffs. And the 2011 WNBA Finals are underway. Minnesota with the basketball. Atlanta starting off in man-to-man -man defense, and they will trap and do all kind of things. Their offense gets going from steals and getting out from aggressive defense. They average 12 steals a game in the playoffs, and Taj going in lefty. Atlanta, Lindsey Harding comes out, hitting her three. She has been playing really well in the finals, but not great from long range. And this was a team that really struggled from three during the regular season. In fact, dead last in attempts per game. But Williams Franklin with the save. Brunson gets inside of everybody for an easy two. These are post players. Double team makes the right move. That foul was on Angel McCautry, a player that Minnesota, well, really every team would like to get her into foul trouble. Brunson with the nifty move. She's got ball, and that's what you have to do against Atlanta. And they have a very good point guard in Lindsey Whalen who drove in, drew contact, but no foul. Castro Marquez in for her first points of the game. From that guard spot. Back to her. Maya Moore, what a catch! But it wouldn't go down. And here they are again. Fast pace. And she scores again, does solid defensive team. Taj McWilliams Franklin running back towards the locker room. Jessica Adair has checked in. McCautry with the jump shot. And as Taj McWilliams Franklin makes her way back, our intrepid reporter Holly Rowe trailing. I'll have an update on that on her in just a moment. Candace Wiggins has checked in for the links. There she is, number 11. Instant energy off the bench. Good pass to Adair. He finishes. Well, Wiggins... Marquez guarded by Moore at the three-point line. Price, nothing doing, and Wiggins has the rebound. Brunson to Whalen who goes underneath. Great ball movement by the... Moore trying to get the steal on Castro Marquez, who still takes it up and is able to score. Rebounds in his three minutes tonight. Castro Marquez is coming out firing. Adair gets her miss. Brunson outran on many price to the basket. Gets the toughest defensive draw every night. Bales, there's your rebound. But again, Castro Marquez needs to take the good shot, the right shot, get out and transition, make sure Angel gets more touches. She's taken eight of Atlanta's 16, now 17 shots, terrific spin move by still not yet scored tonight. Castro Marquez gets it blocked by Harris. Augustus with the fadeaway has scored. She's not demanding the basketball inside. You know, her first WNBA Finals game, she doesn't play a ton of minutes. It's interesting to see what they can do, it, what, what, if Taj McWilliams Franklin can come back in this game. Remember Rebecca Brunson on the bench with the two personal fouls. Harding fires away for a long two. Bales comes down with the miss. Jessica Adair will check in with Lindsey Whalen at the next opportunity for Minnesota. Bales can hit from the outside and does with a foot on the line. Alice. Uh, Romanti, especially uh, Sancho. What do you like about your shot selection so far and how you're distributing to your offense? Well, I, th I think we're doing a pretty good job. This is a very intense game, and I think that, uh, you know, both teams are playing really hard right now. So if we can limit uh, some of their better players with touches, then that's what we're going to try to do. Thank you, Coach. Thank you back in the game for Minnesota. Angel McCautry starting the second quarter on the bench, and yes, Taj Williams Franklin, who played the first three minutes and 13 seconds and left with a stomach issue, is back out there. They're so important in the middle for them. A dare caught it and put it in. Just getting in there and getting contact and calls. Average just under nine free throw attempts per game during the regular year. Coco Miller, who is a native of the state such a competitor. She wants to be in the game, wants to help her team win. Brunson just took the first free throws Minnesota has shot tonight. They've won a two. Castro Marquez keep on shooting. Minnesota, meanwhile, they have missed their last eight shots. Bales rebounds for Harding and then puts in the follow. Allison Bales, great. Castro Marquez 
Guarded by McWilliams Franklin. And Lindsey Whalen got behind everybody, and Minnesota finally scores. Minnesota's 21 points coming in the paint tonight. Balen's layup. Harding goes up right out over her. Harding feeling it tonight. Feeling it tonight has 14. Augustus. That's what they need. Six. They get it to Coco Miller. Sancho Little has it rim out. Good hustle by Bales to keep it going, but then. Augustus was able to pick it up. Whalen to Augustus for three. Two in a row for Simone. Angel McCautry still on the bench. Has been sitting there with two personals. Harding's going to have an easy one. And that's not something you see very often from the ball to him. They go underneath to Harding. He was trying to draw the foul. How about that rebound? Rebecca Brunson just floated in the air until she got the ball in her hands. Makes it look so easy. Augustus floats one in on the other end. It's a three-point game. On a 9-2 Minnesota run, Castro Marquez fires away and hits. NBA playoffs. Just quick. It's her quickness, but you have to respect the three-point shot because she's been shooting it so well the last two games. In the starting lineup because Erica de Souza was in Colombia with the Brazilian national team, and that's Maya Moore's first field goal. Minnesota is really good in the half court. They're big set good screens, and their guards make nice cuts to the basket. Moore had missed her first four shots before she put that one in. McCarthy blows right by Brunson, who screams that she wanted some help. Augustus gets the Adair screen. Pick and roll, run to perfection. And what did Minnesota do? They got the miss and handed it off to Simone Augustus to bring it up court. Augustus had nine in the first half, four of ten from the floor. There's Rebecca Brunson guarded by McCautry, who has three personal fouls. And she goes off glass in a first half, as Holly alluded to, Adair with was three for three from the floor and also had three rebounds. And she brings the size in the post, and she's very good when she can slow things down and keep a composer inside. Brunson left wide open. Minnesota has taken its game at 20 points and nine rebounds. Picked up in the dispersal draft when Sacramento ceased operation. Second overall pick, and she's been a gem in Minnesota. McCautry kind of had it on her hip for a while. Count. And Angel has now scored the last seven Atlanta points, spanning back to the first half. Moore! Up and under! How does she... Angel McCarthy trying to take it back down, Maya picking up the foul. Maya made sure she didn't score, that's for sure. McCarthy scores that time, and then gives it... McCarthy on Adair, who led Brunson a little bit too much. McCarthy feeling it. The last 12 for Atlanta. He's going to demand the ball in the second, and I'm sure that was a point that Mary Nell Meadows made to her team as well. Angel scored eight points in three, just over three minutes. And now she hits a two. We're saying 57% during the regular year, upwards close to 80% now. McCautry finally misses one, and then wonders why she wasn't, or why a foul wasn't called. Augustus inside to Brunson. That's pretty. Defensively, will that impact them with McCarthy and Price with three? Well, she just wants to take over this game. Took it right to Augustus. Whalen has more on the left wing, but gave it to Augustus. Trailing for the bucket. Get your butt back on defense. They're killing us. She also pointed out that their quick shots are leading to a lack of offensive rebounding. They've got to stop shooting so quick. Whalen with a terrific feed. 
Shot clock at seven. Harding spinning over Whalen. And she breaks Cotri's 14 point streak. The Cotri had scored the last 14 over the last six and a half minutes. And Harding quiets this huge crowd, at least for the moment. But look at the difference in the offensive sets for these two teams. You have great unselfish basketball. And Glenn Taylor, the owner, sticking with this franchise, and it's finally paying off. Best record in the regular season. They've been outstanding in the playoffs and have to be the favorite coming into these finals. Oh, McCautry gets right back. Johnson out of nowhere. Augustus. Bales back into the ball game, gets the rebound. Price on the run. McCautry somehow was able to catch it, recover. Shot clock at five. Brunson driving in on Bales. And Williams Franklin in a fresh 24. And I like that. Make Atlanta play defense again. They played it for almost the entire shot clock. Make them stay in their stance. Whalen uses her body so well to get in the room if she decides to go all the way to the basket. You know, Sancho Little has not scored tonight, averaging 12 points a game in the playoffs. Augustus makes it look so easy. Team, She will be back for game two on Wednesday. Taj mishandled it. Harding back to McCautry for another bucket. And when you turn the ball, get end to end and find a way to get a layup off of your miscue. Autry was so terrific in the finals last year against Seattle, continuing to score in these finals, as is Simona. Finals record for a player. S smashing Diana Taurasi's old record of 14. McWilliams Franklin got a step around two defenders. So what does Minnesota need to do when they're good offensively? Make the other pass, take care of the basketball, and they will get open shots. Whalen again! You has not seen a lot of playing time. Whalen. Yes, skipped it in. And they are stretch playing with an upset stomach it's trapped a little bit on the sideline but he's able to dribble out of it Candace Wiggins gets it Wiggins is in for Whalen who takes a well-deserved break Augustus was calling for it can't defend that and two people get touches who are screening passing setting one another up Brunson has to shoot. She's having a marvelous game. 20 points. Harding spinning on Wiggins, trying to get something going, but can't. Simone has Brunson. Stop turning the ball over. Minnesota, zero turnovers here in this quarter. Another turnover, just as you said that. Taj with the finish. scored zero points and had three turnovers in the fourth quarter they had three turnovers in the first three quarters combined Courtney Paris's first action and she gets a basket right away and that's what they do you can muscle her way inside and finish third year out of Oklahoma first year with Atlanta and that breaks that 15 zip Minnesota run Augustus oh, come on. Conscious. Her head coach Cheryl Reeve, a great all-around player. Whalen gives it up. McCautry with the high dribble over to Harding with the bucket. Whalen to Brunson. Brunson. Augustus, can she do it again? Oh, but Maya goes up and gets the rebound. 
and smart smart you know the time and score situation takes some more time off the shot clock whalen again nobody does it like that price over taj nothing doing rebound more lost it momentarily sancho little has not scored tonight had an opportunity there and an opportunity now for a three-point play from a caught movement when she's out on the floor and, and and especially playing six she's been really effective setting screens making passes eight points nine rebounds three assists Runs it off glass. 